This is the iLife W400. The first video I ever made for this channel is actually a full review of this robot, so if you want to check that out, I'll link it above. Today we're going to put it through a special challenge, I guess you could call it a sort of stress test. Because this robot has a separate clean and dirty water tank, it's actually very well suited to a mess like this. The snow's melting, there's mud outside, and my dogs run around everywhere and track this stuff all over the house. My kitchen floors are black and the mud really stands out, so it's a great opportunity to film this robot in action and see what it can do. I've never actually cleaned this type of mess with this robot before. This is my first mud season with the W400, so let's see how it does. Who did it, Leonard? Who made the muddy prints? Was it you? Did you do it? Did you do it, Leonard? You're still a good boy. Although I haven't tested it yet, I'm pretty sure that a mess like this in this size area is too much for a scrubbing pad mopping robot like my T8 AIVI with its pro mopping attachment because the pad would get saturated with mud very quickly and then all it would be doing after a certain small area is just spreading that mud all over the rest of the room. While it covered most of the room twice, um, the area immediately to the left of the rug, it only covered once, and that's one of the weaknesses of this robot. iLife is coming out with um, the W450, which will be available in the US soon, and that's going to use camera-based navigation. So I'm really looking forward to that. Anyway, let's put on some music and see how it does. So that's where it ended its cleaning run, so let's take a look at how it did. Now over here by the rug, it only made one pass. To the very right of the rug, it didn't clean at all, obviously. But the rest of the floor, it made multiple passes, and I think it looks great. It actually, it did, an, it did a really good job. 
I'm actually surprised. There's a, it missed a spot over there. It covered that only once. But wherever it made uh, more than one pass, it pretty much picked up everything. I mean, it, it looks great. Next time my dogs do this, I'm going to test the Ecovax uh, T8's vibrating mop, but I don't think it's going to do this good a job. Because like I said, the pad will get saturated. Because That's a lot of mud. I know it, it may not look like it, but it's a surprising amount of mud. So right by the rug, it missed some spots. Here in the middle, it may have only covered it once. So it's not really fair um, because it only covered this area uh, one time. And of course, uh, below its starting point, I had to use area mode so it doesn't clean below its starting point. So right near the transition, it didn't clean at all because it, it can actually escape that transition. So again, that's another reason why the W450 would be a much better option. So as soon as this thing realizes that it's done, I'm going to grab it and I'm going to put it over here and do another uh, pass in this area. So we'll have um, two passes here as well. This is interesting. Watch this. It makes a pass and it leaves out a triangular area in the middle of its brush. And I'm going to show you at the end of the video why it sometimes does that. It only does that like at the end of big cleaning jobs when the brush is dirty. Okay, so I'm going to stop it at this point because it doesn't need to clean those areas again. And I'm going to just do another spot clean here. I, I, it's, you know, it's not fair. This would be like a third pass, but um, I just really need to see it clean that area. While it's doing that, let's take another look at the floor now that it's even more dry. Because you don't really see if it's picked up everything until the floor is completely dry. Because mud, uh, light mud, kind of disappears when it's wet. Those of you who um, live in muddy areas know exactly what I'm talking about. But it seems to have done um, as good a job as I thought originally. I'm really, really surprised. This was a lot of mud. It may not have looked like it in the camera, but it was a huge mess. And this thing cleaned it. As I said before, it took 40 minutes. But it's 40 minutes that you don't have to do anything. All right, so I'm going to show you why it left that dry triangular streak. When it's been cleaning for a very long time, the brush gets dirty, and for some reason the dirtiest part is right in the middle, and so the brushes uh, get caked with dirt and the bristles collapse, and they don't make contact with the floor. So at that point, you know, it's time to stop it and clean the brush. Look at the nasty muddy water it picked up, and it's surprisingly very little water. Like with all the, all the mud that it picked up, you know, that's, that's not a lot of water to use. So this thing is very efficient and won't oversaturate your hardwood floors. Well, thank you for watching. This has been a fun little challenge to subject this robot to. Until next time, I'm Mike, and this is Mr. Rumbato.